Welcome back freshwater fishing novices, new viewers. This is the Freshwater Fishing Novice YouTube channel. My name is Moles. I'm the Freshwater Fishing Novice and it's Freshwater Fishing Novice Friday. Today we're going to talk about anchors. Why the heck are we talking about anchors? So let's backtrack a little bit. I got a message from Jason and he sent me a message on Instagram Messenger or Facebook Messenger but I have pages for both of those, the Freshwater Fishing Novice. And if you guys want to get a hold of me like Jason did, you can uh, go over there and leave me a detailed message. You can leave it in the comments here. It doesn't matter. Jason sent me a message, went out of his way to go track me down on Instagram, so I appreciate that, Jason. And Jason said, this is what a Freshwater Fishing Novice looks like to him, his youngest son. So he sent me a picture. But well, you might notice I didn't use Jason's last name because I don't want to blow up his spot. I don't know. That's none of my business to let everyone know who he is. But that's Jason's message right there. And there is a picture of his youngest son. You might notice I blurred his face out. Well, I think uh, children on the internet need a little bit of anonymity. Anonymity? I don't think we need to be putting little kids on the internet. I put him up there, but I blurred his face out like it was an FBI file. So there's him with his new rod. And then there's this picture. He caught a rock bass. So that is sweet. But I also blurred his face out there because... But none of you guys' business who this kid is. Jason, man, I, don't, I didn't get your youngest son's name. Thanks, guys, for watching. I uh, hope, you, <laughs> hope you like my channel. Thanks for messaging me. And then Jason sent me this message. He said it would be a fun topic to do on how to tie your anchor to your boat. We'll get into that. But today what we're going to talk about is the five different types of anchors. We're going to talk about how to tie rope to your anchor. Finally... I'll talk about how I secure my anchor to my boat. Let's start talking about the different types of anchors. Okay, first type of uh, anchor, it's gonna be like a mushroom anchor. It sounds just like it looks. It looks like a mushroom, an upside down mushroom. Now what's the deal with these anchors? So really large mushroom anchors are used for mooring or for like securing buoys. Smaller uh, mushroom anchors are pretty effective in the softest river bottom, but they have minimal uh, holding power. So, like small mushroom anchors should only be used for personal watercrafts, small aluminum fishing boats, or for like a, like a small dinghy. The next type of anchor we're going to talk about is the uh, Danforth or the Fluke anchor. Are good for like smaller boats, mainly because it folds flat and it's good for storing or like you know in a uh, an anchor locker or you know somewhere on your boat. It sinks into sand and hard mud bottoms, but a little bit less effective in deep mud or grassy bottoms. So here's the problem with this anchor. If the wind shifts, maybe I should draw a picture here. Okay, so if the wind shifts, say it's normally coming this way and it's pushing your boat in that direction and the anchor's sunk in pretty good. Now, if the wind shifts and goes this way, what will happen, what could happen is the boat will reposition, start floating and drifting this way, and then the anchor could possibly free itself and then all of a sudden you're going in a different direction and the anchor's not doing what it's supposed to. So let's talk about the plow anchor. Plow anchor's a bit more cumbersome than like the Danforth or the Fluke anchor. This anchor is a good choice if you're gonna secure it to like a, what is it called? A, a bow roller, you know, it, so it looks like a skateboard wheel, but it's got that divot angled. Anyway, the rope goes over that and then there's the anchor hanging right there. So then all the rope is managed on the boat, but the anchor just hangs out on the front or the bow. The plow anchor is more likely to reset itself. Like with that previous problem with the Danforth or the Fluke, if your boat drifts, it might not reset. So with the plow anchor, it's gonna reset pretty quickly and you'll be all set. You're not, your boat's not gonna go just whipping away. The plow anchor is more effective than Danforth anchor in like uh, grass. It also has really good strength in like a rocky bottom, if it has a good grip. And uh, the plow anchor also does good on uh, soft bottoms. Let's talk about the claw anchor. The claw anchor is a non-folding anchor, right there. It's uh, similar to the plow anchor in the fact that you want it a bow roller mounted setup as well. You could have it on the back, I guess. It works good in mud, clay, sandy bottoms. It's, I already said it's gonna reset quickly if the wind changes, so that's a good thing. It may not work very well on hard bottom, so that's kind of an issue. Or in like thick vegetation. Yeah. Both those bottoms are pretty challenging for pretty much all types of anchors. So that's the, the claw anchor. So now what's the last type of anchor I'm gonna talk about? 
It's the grapnel anchor. Kind of like a grappling hook. So I mean, think about Batman or anytime you've seen a grappling hook in like a weird action movie from the 80s. They throw it up there and then they're climbing up the... No one does that. The grapnel anchor is designed to grab structure. So like uh, debris, rocks, submerged timber, as opposed to like sinking to the bottom and the weight's holding it there. It's, it's grabbing something and holding you there. The grapnel anchor is available in like a ton of sizes, big to very, very small. The small anchors are good for like John boats, skiffs, or even smaller boats like kayaks. So you can see it looks like a grappling hook. I took all the line off so you guys can see what I do when I set this up. But let's put this down for a second. Let's talk about the knot you're gonna attach your rope to your anchor with. Is it the fisherman's hitch? The fisherman's bend? The anchor bend? The anchor hitch? Nope, all those names are right. Those are all the same knot. Am I gonna try to tie this thing right now? This is gonna be weird. Okay, so I'm gonna pinch right there. I'm gonna go over like this. I'm gonna come around the back of the main line right here. I'm gonna come through. And then go around the back one more time. And then I'm gonna go send it right through here and just cinch it down. So that is the fisherman's bend or the fisherman's hitch, also known as the anchor hitch or anchor bend. What do I do to make this happen? You'd think, I just tie the line right to the top, right? Not the case with this guy. I don't tie line to anything. I don't have to tie a knot because my anchor line came with a, a loop in it already tied off and that's how it's set up. That's how I bought it. What am I going to go right through here and tie a knot? I could, but I wouldn't be using the anchor properly. With these anchors as a safety option in a kayak, you want to attach this down at the bottom. You might be wondering why the heck you want to do that. Well, I'll show you in a second here. So I bought one of these carabiners. So now you can see this isn't how the anchor is supposed to be drug. So what you do is give yourself plenty of line right here, right there. What I do is I tie a loop, just a knot really, right at the top where I think it matches up with over under through, just like that. So now you can see this is dangling down below. And then I secure this to the actual anchor with a teeny little crappy zip tie. Not an industrial zip tie, I mean dollar store zip tie. This thing is gonna break under any serious force and that's a good thing. I just cinch that down, cut that little stupid plastic thing off. So here's how I set up my anchor. So I drop it down in the water, doodly do. It does its job and, and hooks up. Now say I'm stuck in my kayak and this is jammed in there. Now I can keep tugging on it and possibly pull myself off the kayak, but that's why this anchor is sweet because you put a cheap zip tie on there, you break it off, the anchor spins around, and then you can just pull it right up. So now all you need to do is drop another little zip tie on. So it's a safety feature for when I'm on my kayak and that's why I use this anchor setup. Safety first, right? How do I connect this to my kayak? The way I have been doing it is with just another loop knot, however deep I am, I'll tie a loop knot and then I stick a carabiner on that and then I attach it to my kayak somewhere. That is not how I'm supposed to hook it up. That's not the proper way. So ideally what you want is a breakaway system on your kayak, just in case you want to cut the line instead of having to actually cut the line. Something you can get rid of quick. I'm trying to figure this out, how to rig it, what to do. I figure I'm just going to pull, a, a pull a, my scissors or a knife and cut it if I have time. Problem is if you don't have time. Ideally, you have your line, your rope coming from your anchor, you got it up, and then you have a buoy right here. So that buoy or anchor float, in case you have to get rid of your line, say, so this is going through the buoy, and then let's, there's a, a loop here and a loop here, and you can connect it here somehow. Now, if you want to break this connection right here and just let the line go and, you know, you can go back and deal with it later, 
Now the buoy is floating, you know where your anchor is. You can go back and retrieve that so you don't lose your anchor. I have to work on a connection system here that's more dialed in. I've seen a couple solutions online, quick knots and stuff like that. You can just pull and they shoot out. So I'm working on that. But something you guys should be aware of so you're not just using your line with your anchor. And then what happens if you lose that line? You lost an anchor. An anchor buoy is something I'm looking into getting. I'm trying to find a small one. That's how you're supposed to connect your line to your kayak. Regular boat you can use. Now, if you don't have a bow line on the front of your boat, like say you have a aluminum boat and it's got that roller system, then you're all set up. You just drop it and then you can pull it back up. Otherwise, if you just have an aluminum boat, you can get those, what are they? I don't even know what they're called, but they're shaped like this. And then you wrap your line around it figure eight style till it locks. And that's their system. I mean, three times and then you can just let it go too. But that's how I'd attach my line if I had an aluminum boat off the bow or the stern of the boat. Bow's the front, stern's the back. Is that right? Or is it the other way around? I don't know. All right, freshwater fishing novices, new viewers. I hope you guys found some kind of value in this video. Maybe you learned something about anchors. I know I didn't know all those types of anchors. I only knew about that grapnel. Hopefully you guys learned something about all the five different types of anchors that you can use. Jason, I hope that kind of helped you figure out how to tie it to your boat. This is the picture he sent me right here. I don't, I don't know if I trust that clip right there. I'd probably get a, a carabiner that's screwed or some kind of lock. So I knew that anchor wasn't gonna go anywhere as opposed to, uh, I'm not sure how that works and how you, if you just pull it open or what. I don't know how that sucks, dude. I'm sorry you lost your anchor. If you have any questions about anchors that I might be able to answer or any other questions fishing related, go ahead and leave them down in the comments below. If this is the first time seeing my videos and you found it in informative and entertaining, you can uh, always subscribe to my channel. Click that bell, make it turn from red to gray. You'll be notified of future videos that come out. It helps my videos get out there into the YouTube world and help other beginning anglers, novices like me and you find these videos and hopefully become better anglers or more aware about boating. If you guys like this video, you know what you can do. You can always hit that like button. Thanks for watching the Freshwater Fishing Novice YouTube channel. My name is Moles. I'm the Freshwater Fishing Novice, and this has been Freshwater Fishing Novice Friday. Hope you guys have a great weekend. I'll catch you next week. 